Welcome, boys and girls. Come and join us at Groot Rato Homesteads in our good night story on Beyond Bugs, all about insects. On Beyond Bugs. I'm the cat in a hat, and I'm glad that I found you. Right now, if you look, you'll see insects around you. They live in the water, the earth, and the sky. Just wait, and you'll soon see an insect go by. There are millions of them. I will show some to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Most insects you'll meet have hard shells and lay eggs. Look, praying mantis, butterfly. Le lots have wings and can fly, and they all have six legs. Look at the grasshopper, the ladybug. Black ants, spiders aren't insects. This news couldn't wait. Instead of six legs, every spider has eight. If you look at an insect up close, you will see that its body is in parts, and each insect has three. A head, a thorax, and an abdomen. And this happens to be a cricket. First the head, then the thorax, and here... At the end is the longest part, which is called the abdomen. Insects cannot see all the things that surround them, so they each have two feelers to touch what's around them. An insect has feelers on top of its head. Some look a lot like a thin piece of thread while others look much more like feathers instead. We wish we had feelers, but we don't have any. You can also call feelers by this name, antennae. Watch an insect and see all the things that it does. Some can swim, that's a dog flea, jump or crawl, a caterpillar and a diving beetle. Others chirp like crickets, flashing fireflies, or buzz like a bumblebee. Birds and frogs look for insects in order to eat them, so insects work hard to make sure they don't meet them. Some like this wasp, have bright colors that say, don't come near me, I'll sting you, so just stay away. This moth's wings are colored to look like the tree it is resting upon, so that no one can see it under wing moth. Can you see it? Yes. This frog hopper sits in his spit out a bubble. It's wet and it's cool and can save him from trouble. For when he's all covered in bubbly foam, if a hungry bird comes, it thinks nobody home. Here is a riddle I learned from my mother. How's a skunk and a ladybug, bird like one another. When danger is near, it is easy to tell. They suddenly give off a terrible smell. <sniffs> These busy insects are my friends. The ants, they like to eat seeds. Other insects and plants, ants are so strong they can lift things that weight over ten times their weight, and they do it all day. So if you were as strong as an ant, you would see that 
You can lift up 10 cats in a tall hat easy. Watch these honeybees, and I'm sure you'll agree that these bees are as busy as busy can be. Worker bees collect food, and they keep the hive clean. They protect it from danger and wait on their queen. She must stay in one place. It is her job to lay dozens and dozens of eggs every day. When a bee has discovered where food can be found, she goes back to her friends and start dancing around. First she wiggles, then waggles in circles, and so all the other bees know which direction to go. We can grow lots of flowers with help from the bees. They store dust from each flower in the back of their knees. This dust is called pollen. Next flower the bees find, when they land on it, they leave pollen behind. This is called pollination. It makes the new seeds that grow into flowers that everyone needs. Some insects I know can be unwanted pests and guests. Fleas, flies, mosquitoes can really be pests. Fleas live on cats and dogs, rats, hamsters, mice. Their bite is quite itchy, which isn't too nice. But they're wonderful jumpers. Why, if we were fleas, we'll jump over our house and we'll be do it with ease. Have you ever wondered why does a fly buzz? Well, it beats its wings fast, and each time that it does, its wings makes a sound you can hear in your ear, and the sound lets you know there's a fly flying near. Here's a fact about flies that we both thought was icky. They can walk upside down since their feet are so sticky. I don't think mosquitoes are very polite. When they're hungry, they land and they sting when they bite. But it's only the female mosquitoes that do. Male mosquitoes will never come bother you. Caterpillars do something you might think is strange. They start out as one thing, then one day they change. Some make a small house on a branch just like this, and this home that they make is called the crystallis. If you watch it, you'll see when a few weeks go by, it turns into a beautiful new butterfly. Here's a quick fact that we both thought was neat. Butterflies can taste their food with their feet. Whoa. On warm summer evenings, you may see the light of fireflies flashing off on in the night. They are like tiny flashlights that float in the sky, and if you want to catch them, it's all right to try. Use a jar with a lid, watch them glimmer and glow, then open a jar and let them free. All day and all night on the ground, in the air, insects are moving around everywhere. It's important for us to keep learning about them. The world that we know couldn't go on without them. The butterfly, ladybug, and the bee make everything better for you and for me. Thank you for joining us in this uh, evening for our good night story on Beyond Bugs, all about insects. <laughs>